All right, same idea. We got this uh, fraction divided by a fraction, and that's how I'm going to write it out. I got x squared minus 9y squared over xy, and this is now divided by 1 over y. If it helps to put that in parentheses and do it minus 3 over x. And the reason why it may be helpful to put that in parentheses is so that we don't get our operations mixed up. Otherwise, you may just divide it by 1 over y, which is not what we should do. Now what we need um, is common denominators so that we can make that one full fraction. So on the left here, this one is missing an x. Don't you flip them first? Now the second term is missing a y, so I'll multiply the 3 by y as well. And that allows me then to write this as one fraction with the denominator of x, y. And I had x minus the 3y. All right. So since I'm dividing now by one full fraction, I can reciprocate it. So I'm going to change this to multiplication by reciprocating that fraction. I have x, y over x minus 3y. All right, so let's make this one full fraction. And I've got uh, x squared minus 9y squared times the xy. That's all over xy times x minus 3y. So we can see that this x will cancel out this x, and the y will cancel out each other as well. So we still have that x minus 3y. What's important for us to realize is that inside this set of parentheses here is a perfect square. Uh, not only that, but it's the difference of squares. So we should be able to split that up into x minus 3y and x plus 3y. What this will allow us to do is to cancel out that denominator x minus 3y. So this x minus 3y cancels out this one, and we're left with that single x plus 3y.